In the matter of Amit Palekar, the Honorable High Court has been pleased to set aside the order passed by the Honorable Session Judge sitting at Kwanda. The court has held that that order passed by the Session Judge or additional Session Judge sitting at Kwanda was an illegal order. Uh, in any case, it was the case of uh, our case that it was a highly obnoxious order. Such an order ought not to have been passed. And unfortunately, there was gross non-application of mind to the earlier order granted by that very court, which in fact had permitted us to leave the country. Now, what the learned additional session judge did was we tried to infer certain things in that order, which was granted, uh, which had granted me permission to leave the country. Now, one of the cardinal principles of law is that when an order is passed. You are not supposed to read into that order uh, anything or infer anything in that order. The order should speak for itself. It is not the job of anybody else to either add to or subtract from it. Now that is exactly what the learned session, additional session judge did. It inferred certain things in the order and said that that permission that was granted was only to travel France and nothing beyond that. Now the High Court has uh, felt that that uh, inference drawn by the court was uncalled for and highly unwarranted and sets it aside. Now in addition to that, there is a one more aspect which uh, I would want to point out to you is that even if there is a violation of a condition of bail, it does not automatically mean that the person's bail should be cancelled and that he could be taken back in custody. The law on the point is that if there is any violation, there has to be an application of mind to find out by virtue of that violation if the administration of justice has been affected or not and if investigation has been hampered or not. Now that was not even the case of the prosecution that by he leaving the country for more than one occasion, the prosecution could not or the investigating agencies could not investigate. Nothing of that sort. So this was, uh, as we have already said, that this is only a political vendetta. There is, uh, it was basically, if I may say so, a storm in a teacup. So sir, should we understand now that Amit Palekar has the blanket order to travel abroad? Now? Yes, of course. We always felt that he had a blanket order and the court now gives its imprimatur, puts its seal that it is a blanket order. So now if Mr. Palekar wants to go wherever he wants to go, he need not go back to the court and ask for permission. That's the position of this order today. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.